have come, just as promised. Yes, this is the one and only entrance to the fortress of Meripede from Erinaeus. Careful, you may want to step back a bit. Oh, so you have to go down from here? Is the prison underwater? Utilizing both the barrier of the water as well as the fear humans have of the depths, the fortress of Meripede is naturally the perfect place to confine and guard criminals. But do not worry, it is not nearly as frightening inside as you may think. You will see for yourselves once you are down there. Uh, Paimon hopes you're right. Don't know about you, but just thinking about being at the bottom of the sea like that gives Paimon the heebie-jeebies. Oh, and there's one more thing. I mentioned that I have had personal dealings with the administrator of the fortress, Ridesley. He's a very shrewd fellow. Yeah, we heard about him too. He's that Duke, right? Correct. He is the highest ranking manager of the underwater prison. Even though you are going there to investigate at my behest, it would behoove you to avoid any confrontation with him or any of his subordinates. The Duke rarely ever leaves the Fortress of Meripede, but that does not mean he is not privy to all that is happening inside and outside the fortress. He is quiet, but not unaware, so please bear that in mind. All right, that's about all the time that we have to talk privately. I'm counting on you two. Don't worry, we won't let you down. Good. <clears throat> Madeline! I'm here. Monsieur Nervalet. These two are the newest convicts, I presume? <laughs> Don't worry, they won't escape on my watch. <laughs> like we would try. Please follow me, you two. I'll process your paperwork for entering the Fortress of Meripede. it feels like to be a criminal in Fontaine. You two seem to be taking this pretty well. <laughs> it's rare to see convicts in such a good mood. <laughs> Take it easy. Why'd they make you make the trip down here today? Monsieur Nervalet personally requested I escort these two convicts. I suppose he was concerned others might not be up to the task. <laughs> well now, aren't you the lucky one? Must be nice to be on good terms with the big shots like the Chief Justice. The only people I get to see every day are the new inmates. Well, have you tried service with a smile? Who knows, it might help your professional reputation. <laughs> yeah, right. As if. Every criminal comes through here looking miserable. How can I smile with such a toxic work environment? And even if I did smile at them, the convicts would probably just think that I'm some freak getting some kind of twisted enjoyment from their pain. Oh, she's got a point. Well, I've finished transferring you. You two will register here, and Marette will guide you through the remaining procedures. <sighs> yep, I'll take it from here. You head on back to that bright and sunny world above. Okay, let me see. You are the Traveler and Paimon, correct? That would be us! Let me confirm your charges and sentence. Let's see. You two are charged with eating a cake specially prepared for the Archon by a Snezhnayan envoy without the Archon's permission, thereby incapacitating the political center of Fontaine for a brief period. Sentence, 
45 days? Huh? Uh, wait, you mean the cake that Nervala gave us was... Just looking at the charges, it seems you two are capable of causing some serious trouble. And considering how fond Lady Furina is of sweets, this crime is tantamount to trying to assassinate the Hydro Archon herself. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> anyway, we still need to finish processing you before you can enter the Fortress of Meripede. Please stand in front of the board over there. I'll take your mug shots with my camera. Oh, all right. But be sure to catch Paimon's good side. And we're done. Thank you for your cooperation. Next, someone will be along to guide you inside the fortress. Please be sure to cherish this opportunity for rebirth. Huh? Rebirth? Isn't that a little much? We're only gonna be here for 45 days! You two are the new inmates, right? Follow me. Oh, okay! Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! Save it. Not like I'll remember your names. Move it. of the guards here? Um, is there anything we should be careful of while we're here? Uh, did Paimon already ask something she wasn't supposed to? Why should I tell you anything? What's in it for me? <sighs> this is exactly why I can't stand you fish. I wouldn't even be doing this if it weren't for the credit coupons. Credit coupons? All right, seeing as you're not the annoying kind that's getting dragged in here crying and blubbering, I guess I can tell you a few things. But next time, it'll cost you some coupons. Mora means nothing here. Here, we use credit coupons. Coupons can get you almost anything in the Fortress of Meripede. Desires? Fulfilled. You want power? No problem. Coupons can even change fate itself. So, credit coupons are a currency that can only be used here? It's not as simple as that. Like Moret said, everyone gets a chance at rebirth. No matter how much money or power you had before, it means nothing once you set foot inside the Fortress of Meripede. You have to start over and earn your coupons. Everyone starts from the same place, and you have a chance at a new, less terrible life. I guess that's the real purpose of the coupons. They symbolize true fairness and true justice. And this is also exactly why so many criminals choose not to return to the outside world, even after they've served their sentence. Oh, so that's what the Fortress of Meripede is like. Huh. Paimon was under the impression that it'd be more like a prison. It certainly ain't all sunshine and roses here, but it's also not the worst place to be. You'd better take a good look at the scenery now. It'll be the last chance you get for a while. After being away from the sunlight for so long, even the terrifying depths of the sea start to feel like home. It just stops feeling oppressive, you know? 
Oh, I'm actually an inmate like you two. Welcoming newcomers is a job I've picked up to earn some extra coupons. Uh, why aren't you answering us again? I've told you enough for free. Any more info is gonna cost ya. So all you care about is Mora! Wait, no. Coupons? Almost there. It's down through here. Your turn to give it a try. like a metaphor for your previous life, isn't it? Uh, our lives weren't that bad. Navigating the world is a whole lot easier with a few different identities to choose from. Need me to come up with some for you? Entrance to the fortress of Meribid? Huh. It looks like there are other new arrivals, too. Oh, they sure don't look happy. Uh, maybe we look too relaxed for fresh convicts. Oh, right. We're on someone else's territory now. Uh, we need to think of a good way to act like criminals to get by. If we're discovered, even Nevelette might not be able to rescue us. Hey! Don't scare Paimon! Oh, Paimon's not ready for all this! Uh, look, I don't really know you, and I have no idea what kind of crime you committed, but... You wouldn't have happened to anger someone important, did you? Uh, someone important? Hmm, Paimon doesn't think so. Uh, wait, why are you suddenly trying to talk to us now? Now's not the time to worry about that. Anyway, it's over there, so... You just go on over there by yourselves. I've done my job, so... Good luck. What was that all about? Uh, wait a second. Are there usually so many garter racks around here? Prisoners numbers 7459 and 7560. Welcome. Oh, no need to be anxious. These Gardamex aren't here to attack you. In fact, they're here as your honor guard. When I heard that you were friends of Monsieur Neuvelet, I had the Gardamex come and wait in formation. Wait! You know about our connection with Neuvelet? The seafloor isn't as cut off from the world as you might imagine. However, I'm afraid that I know nothing more than that you are friends of the Udex. And, as you can see, committing a crime means being sentenced here, even if you're friends with the Chief Justice. Quite fair. The, the Duke! Uh, greetings, Your Grace! L lovely weather today, isn't it? Oh, huh, greetings, my good fellow. Well, I'm willing to imagine that the weather is as good outside the sea as you say it is. <laughs> ah, how great it would have been if only the fortress of Meripede had been built on the coast, huh? It would have been so convenient to enjoy a nice chat in the sunshine. Ah, my profuse apologies. I just got so nervous when I saw you, I just... So this is the Duke. He sure looks a lot younger than Paimon imagined. The Traveler and Paimon, correct? 
Mr. Deacon here was responsible for your welcome. I trust you were satisfied with his guidance? Outstanding. Well, Deacon, I recall we discussed fate during our last work meeting, hmm? I believe that fate will reward all those who take every aspect of their work and life seriously. When you return to your bunk, you'll find the guards have issued some extra credit coupons to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, and you too. I can't believe you gave me such praise. If you need anything in the future, anything, please come find me anytime. No credit coupons necessary. Well, I believe that concludes the introductions. We've already taken enough time here. Deacon, if you would. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take my leave now. Please, follow me. To make you feel more welcome, I'll show you around the various facilities of the Fortress of Meripede. I hope it'll help you adjust to life here. He's going to personally give us a cure? Huh. Paimon can't figure out what this guy's thinking at all. No wonder Charlotte's so interested in him. He's one of those mysterious types. All right, let's keep up with him. Take it easy. There's no need to be so reserved. The label of criminal is nothing but one of many identities. And being criminally inclined here at the fortress is just one of many ways to survive. Uh, is it really okay for the warden to think like that? We're real criminals, you know. What if we're too difficult to handle? <laughs> well, then maybe you'll be able to carve out a name and a place for yourselves in this underwater world, hmm? But before you go in swinging, Please remember that in the Fortress of Meripede, it's better to not cause trouble for yourself or for the guards. Now, we've arrived at a very important place, the Coupon Cafeteria. You can come here and claim one welfare meal each day. Welfare meal? You mean it doesn't cost anything? That's right. Criminals are essential to fortress operations, so we must guarantee that they at least have the basic means to survive. <laughs> But that's not how it was. Back in the day, it cost your reward coupons just to get a cup of water here. For fish like you who just arrived with nothing, you'd have to go to work hungry until you earned enough coupons to eat. It was only after His Grace became the administrator that we got the free meal rule. Now everyone gets a square meal every day, even no good slackers who've never picked up a wrench in their whole lives. Nobody starves to death here. In the Fortress of Meripede, credit coupons are the only currency, and everything must be purchased. In some sense, you could say using the coupons is a form of trade. But trade is always conducted by people. So if we want trade here to prosper, we need everyone to work hard and live their lives. If nobody could even afford a meal, then the whole fortress would be up in arms. And that would only make things more difficult for me. So... Rather than saying that we're giving everyone a free meal here, you should say that everyone's hard work has improved the living conditions in the Fortress of Meripede. Your Grace's reasoning is correct, but what I said is also true. Whatever the case, hard work is rewarded here. You'd be hard-pressed to find anywhere else as fair and reasonable. Right! Pyron sees your point. By that logic, this place doesn't seem so bad after all! Oh, wait, no. We should have dropped our guard so quickly. But it seems the inmates really respect the Duke because of his attitude, right? Hmm. We should still try to verify the truth with our own eyes. Uh, let's continue this way.
This place is known as the Pancration Ring. Sometimes we have criminals who have more energy than they know what to do with. Their daily work alone isn't enough of an outlet for them. So, instead of leaving them to their own devices, we've provided them with this dedicated venue. This way, nobody will get involved unless they want to be. Pancration matches? And you can earn extra coupons? Oh, what do you think, Traveler? Interested? But I must warn you that your sentence will be extended if you fail to restrain yourself and end up seriously injuring or killing your opponent. So, did you set this place up too? No, actually. I just granted approval for the organizer to use this area to build the ring, and I collect a portion of the proceeds in return. Of course, the fees are also quite useful. Oh. Do you mind if we ask what they're used for? Sure. Ensuring personal safety, maintaining the arena, and resolving any conflicts that arise. Why? Are you interested in how to manage a pancration ring? Oh, no, no. I'm always just wondering if that's how you paid for everyone's welfare meals. A reasonable guess. I see you have a talent for entrepreneurship. Oh, you hear that? Paimon has a talent! So we can start a business here? That is something you can discuss between yourselves later. Let's move on for now. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Uh, y y your grace. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon. No, wait, what time is it again? What time indeed. Time waits for no one, so it's best to keep an eye on it. Ah, uh, my, my apologies, your grace. <sighs> Jeez. That guy's so nervous, he almost forgot to breathe. <gasps> Sorry, forgive my manners. These are the dormitories, which is where inmates sleep. The guards will inform you where your bunk is later. In the fortress of Meripede, criminals usually spend most of their time in either the production zone or the sleeping areas. The production zone? What does it produce? Is that where we'll be working? Not necessarily, though working in the production zone is the most reliable way to earn credit coupons. If you have other skills, you can skip your shifts to earn them in other ways. Wow. Wait, you're the manager of this place and you're just telling us to our faces that it's okay to skip work? The fact that the Fortress of Meripede has continued operating completely autonomously is proof enough that most people are willing to work honestly and earn a stable income. As for what we produce, many of the clockwork machines seen all over Fontaine originate from our workshop. Therefore, the Fortress of Meripede is not only a place where criminals serve their sentences, 
but also a giant machine factory. There's no need for me to get into specifics about the production process now. You'll experience it all firsthand when you report for work tomorrow. <laughs> Let's move on. The tour continues over this way. scared me there. I didn't expect to see you here, uh, your grace. <laughs> I thought maybe I was so tired from work that I was starting to see things. The only thing you should be seeing is the work in front of you. Stay focused and keep up the pace. Oh? Is something the matter? Uh, <laughs> it's nothing. Paimon's just worried about how hard we'll have to work tomorrow. <laughs> Grace? What are you doing in the infirmary at a time like this? Oh, oh no. You didn't injure yourself, did you? Not yet, unfortunately for you. But thank you for your concern, Siegewing. Oh. <laughs> then you must be here for those two. Allow me to introduce you. This is the infirmary, and Siegewing here is the Fortress of Meripede's head nurse. <laughs> Hello, new faces. They call me the head nurse. But I actually handle all the nurse-related work all by myself down here. Since you seem to have some rare downtime with no patience, perhaps you could find the time to join us for dinner? Oh, then these two must be some important convicts. <laughs> sure, I'll join the welcome party. Thank you. Your presence will be the pièce de résistance for today's tour. Oh, so the tour part is over now? I believe I've already covered the primary aspects of life here in the fortress. As for your work, there'll be someone else to guide you through the details. Hmm. Is there anything else? I seldom conduct tours, so why don't you just ask if you have any questions? Uh, well, this is your first time here. Paimon's not sure what to ask. Then let's head back to the coupon cafeteria. Maybe a meal will help you think up some questions. You should at least try to be excited. Our free meals are actually pretty good here. What do you think of the food? Does it meet your expectations? Wow! It looks delicious! No one had made it sound like living conditions in the Fortress of Meripede wasn't very good. Who would have guessed that criminals get to eat tasty food like this every day? Oh, isn't that the meal box that only super lucky people manage to draw? Seems like you two are quite fortunate. It actually has nothing to do with luck in this case. I had a word with Walsey, so you didn't have to draw lots like everyone else. Oh, you mean the meals are random? Yes, what you get to eat depends completely on your luck. You could say that it's a distasteful little game that Chef Walsey likes to play here in the cafeteria. I knew it! If criminals got to eat tasty food like this every meal, the crime rate in Fontaine would skyrocket for sure! Excuse me. Did I hear you mention Nervy Let just now? Oh, I've been wondering how he's doing. Is he busy with work? Has he been taking care of his health? He seems healthy no matter how you look at him. 
But he works so hard all the time, so it must be really tiring. It sounds like he hasn't changed a bit. Looks like you can stop worrying so much, Sejuin. Oh, that's good. But I still feel like it's been too long since I've heard any news about him. No news is good news. Maybe next time I've got something to discuss with him, I can invite you to accompany us. Hmm? But isn't the Fortress of Meropede independent from Fontaine's court system? What do you two have to discuss? Well, we provide all kinds of mechanical products for official use, and some essential goods have to be obtained from the overworld, so we naturally have to stay in touch about this and that. Monsieur Nouvellet's character is unimpeachable. No matter the question, you can discuss it openly and freely with him. Talking with him feels quite effortless. In light of that, I am quite willing to go out of my way to show respect and accommodate him. In fact, right now, I'm treating you two as guests invited by Monsieur Nouvellet. But unfortunately, I can only do so until the end of this meal. After this, you two will just be inmates here. You're very welcome. Well, your new life awaits. Take it easy. Take it easy. 